So here we have the Mazda 2 on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the total miles. First of all, they are 15,480. In the middle, we have the rev counter and a digital readout for the speedometer. And on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and main trip computer section. We back out to the steering wheel. On the right-hand side, we have cruise control. And over on the left-hand side, both stereo and phone controls for the car. The main stereo screen is over in the center. Uh, it is touchscreen. As well as being touchscreen, uh, you can make all of the movements on the screen uh, using a dial just here and the buttons that surround it. So you can press the home button, for example, to go back to the home screen. You can use uh, the dial here to access certain menus uh, and push it down to enter any menu you wish to. As for example, you can push it down to enter the entertainment menu that you see just there. And at the bottom here, uh, there are various different ways you can listen to your music, FM, AM and DAB radio. We've got Bluetooth audio and USB inputs as well. Once you plug devices into those, uh, you'll be able to use them. Working our way down from that, we have the air conditioning for the car. So you can adjust the temperature over on the left-hand side here. Fan speed in the middle, direction of the air over on the right-hand side. Once you're happy with those settings, is your air conditioning off or back on again? Or hit uh, this button to uh, close off the vents to the outside of the car. Now that's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here. And you can turn this dial to auto should you wish to and the car will now take control of the fan speed in order that it maintains the temperature you've asked for and you can do the same with the direction of the air as well. To override that, just put it back on your own settings here and you'll hear uh, the difference there. We've also got a heated driver's seat with three heat settings and the same for the passenger side as well. Beneath that, we have the CD player two USB inputs, auxiliary input, SD memory card input, and a 12 volt charging socket. And then lastly, the five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.